I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. So I actually made myself some notes here. Uh, got a card here somewhere. That tells me what I'm supposed to say. Oh no, wait a minute. That's not, that's somebody else. Uh, okay, so. Today, uh, I wanted to talk just a little bit about a pretty popular topic uh, about the Philippines on YouTube, something that we've heard about many times, but I just wanted to get into a little bit about budgets and just give some advice, not necessarily numbers-wise, but just uh, give some advice, make some comments uh, with budgets. People tend to disagree on amounts and things like that, so... I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. So I actually made myself some notes here. Uh, got a card here somewhere. It tells me what I'm supposed to say. Oh no, wait a minute. That's not, that's somebody else. Uh, okay, so budgets, they're kind of a hot topic and they can vary greatly. And I think the biggest reason for that is because everybody's situation is just different. So if you have 10 people, they're probably going to have 10 different budgets and 10 different uh, sets of needs and uh, circumstances and different incomes and everything else. So um, of course, there's going to be controversy and a little bit of argument back and forth. I think that uh, we kind of do a little bit of a disservice to people telling them how much money they need to live on without really knowing what your situation is. Um, because like I said, everybody's situation is different. Some people have very specific needs that affects their monthly budget. Um, some people have obligations that other people don't have. So to tell people how much it costs to live here and there, uh, you really can't and probably shouldn't. Uh, I think it's better just to share your own experience and then maybe people can relate to that or compare their experience to yours. So maybe that's a better way to do that. Um, the amount of money that you need each month also kind of depends on some of the choices that you make. If you do all your research and um, add up all your expected expenses and you're telling me that you can live on $800 a month, um, you know, I would probably believe that you could. It, it's possible, and I think people do it there, um, but the only problem with that is I don't think you leave any room for savings, and I think monthly savings is something you really need to consider and add into your budget because having some kind of savings in retirement, especially being in a foreign country, it's really, I would say, a must. So I would advise that you at least add money in for that. So no matter where you're deciding to live, housing and food are most likely going to be your biggest expenses, uh, whether you're U.S., Philippines, or anywhere. But both of those things can be much cheaper for you in a country like the Philippines. You can probably find rent as low as maybe $75 a month. Um, it wouldn't be average or common, but it is possible. And you wouldn't be living in horrible conditions or anything like that. You might be outside the city, or you might be in a part of the city that's not as desirable, but uh, it is possible to find places for rent that cheap. But I would say an average rent would probably be closer to two or three hundred dollars a month. And that really, again, depends on the area and the city you're talking about living in. So you'd have to check the prices in that area. Uh, I would say rent is cheaper. Health insurance, health care, 
all cheaper there. Um, a car is not mandatory there, which would be a huge savings. If you didn't need a car, didn't feel like you wanted to have a car, um, that's a huge savings every month for somebody not have a car payment and not have car insurance and fuel. Uh, you would have to get around by motorcycle or public transportation. So you would have some expense in that, but not near what you have with a car, uh, thinking about a car in the U.S., what it would cost you. $3,000 a month. Uh, I've kind of heard that number mentioned in some budget videos. To me, that would be a considerable amount of money each month to live in a country like the Philippines. And that would be somebody either saving a considerable considerable amount of money each month or someone living a pretty high lifestyle. Um, you wouldn't be able to spend that much money every month. So that's definitely uh, figuring in maybe some large savings every month. But uh, yeah, there's, you couldn't spend that kind of money every month. And I really don't see a reason to need to save that much money every month because like I said, health insurance is available there and health care there is pretty cheap. So uh, you can see the doctor there. I think it's about $10 for a doctor visit is pretty common, average cost. So uh, the need for that kind of money each month, I just don't really see it. So I would say rather than kind of trying to have people tell you how much do I need each month to live in the Philippines. It's really, you really have to do your own research and it's really up to you to decide that. So if you have a retirement income that's on the lower end, say you're trying to live on a thousand dollars a month or maybe even a little bit less, uh, it is possible and there's people that are doing it, but you're just going to have to make sure that everything that you're doing fits within that budget and allow at least a little bit for savings each month. And uh, that's pretty important. So um, just wanted to kind of mention that, throw that out there that, uh, you know, there's a lot of videos out there about how much it costs to live in the Philippines, but you really can't tell another person how much they need. All you can really do is give an example of what, you spend and what your budget is and then it's up to that person listening to take that information and create a budget of their own and decide uh, how much money they would need do your homework do your research and you're gonna have to find that answer on your own so i hope that's helpful guys uh, take care and we will see you on the next video